Hi, everybody. Ooh, tiny little bit of crackola, followed by a whole lot of crotchola. In today's video, we've uh, we've finished up rigging the ailerons, and that's a good thing. The reason we need that is to do the aileron trim, you got to have your wings rigged more or less straight, right? The aileron trim involves uh, a mechanical arm attached to an inspection plate, which is attached to the push rod via springs, right? So it's just spring loading. It's spring loading your ailerons left or right. In the past, you had seen me mount, or I should say, uh, uh, fabricate and then mount the aileron trim motor onto that inspection plate. First thing you do is make sure it's perfectly square. You make it go all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Check the angles. And it's basically perpendicular to the motor. I mean, if, if you do it right, it's going to be perpendicular. And with the ailerons perfectly square, uh, you go ahead and mark the tube where that arm is the center of, or where that where the center of that arm goes across the tube. Take the tube out. Then we're going to drill some brackets in, connect some springs, and everything is happy. But not yet. So you can see the push rod is out, but we've got something more important to interrupt this message with. It is the new exhaust. Clint over at Veterans Exhaust hooked me up and got me uh, got me this uh, exhaust redone. Originally we had the crossover design which would combine you know number one, number two, and then number three and number four together separately and then each of those would go out the bottom of the exhaust and the sides. This is a different design. This is the trombone design. Much like a power flow exhaust where now it's number one and number three are combined together and they go out one side, two and four on the other side. And the idea is that you can see the much longer distance of the number three exhaust there. It's scaled that way so that as the exhaust, we'll just call them puffs, as the exhaust puffs come out, they're staggered. I mean, they're staggered anyway because of the power timing and all, but you want them to pass down the pipes basically in single file. You don't want them to fight for position, you don't want them to run into each other, you don't want them to bounce around, you just want them to happily go out the exhaust in the least restrictive manner possible. Doesn't take any power away, because that way, like, you don't wind up pushing exhaust back up into the number one while, say, the exhaust valve is open for something else also, which is what you, what you really like. And it's a, it's a good design. I like it because, um, unlike the crossover, which of course crosses across the bottom of the engine twice, this is simply just on one side. And you can see the ball joints there at the end. Those connect to long tubes that go out the bottom, out the back. Those long tubes are unfortunately also the only place where you can put a heat muff for the cabin heat, and we will discuss that much later. But yeah, it's great. Now, ironically, uh, and it wasn't, I mean, it's just a, anyone's fault, they forgot to send the other half of the flanges. So those eyeball joints where the long straight ends of the exhaust attach, uh, you have to have some more, uh, another flange to attach it, and they forgot to send it. So it's going to be a video or two before they get those. All right, so back to the aileron trim. So now we've got the push rod out, and there's a couple of pieces, pieces of angle aluminum with, uh, with a hole cut in it for a spring to attach to. Uh, what you do is you take that push rod, you've got the center mark that you've made where the arm is, you measure six inches out to either side and then you drill those brackets. Then you slide the bar back in, reconnect it, and then it's time to, oh boy this is the fun part, is connect those springs. Holy shit, that is just tough. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was, you can see one of the springs there. So, at, you know, pulling one apart six inches with your hands doesn't seem like that big of a feat. But when you've got to attach two to that center arm of the of the aileron trim, it, it's not easy. Not easy. But once it's done, it's great. Anyway, uh, so we're good there. In the next video, we're going to do more work on the exhaust. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.